So you're wondering who is better, Angular or React? Maybe you're just starting and you don't know which one to choose. Or maybe you already know one framework, but you're not sure should you invest time in learning the second one. I'm gonna try to answer some of these questions, so please stay until the end of this video. Hi, I'm Slobodan. Let me first explain what each of these are. So React is a small JavaScript library created for building UI by Facebook. They wanted to separate their application into smaller pieces, so they can use on different places without duplicating their code, actually. On the other hand, we have an Angular, which is a full-blown framework created by a Google on top of TypeScript. They wanted basically to provide complete solution to their application, and they are packed in with a lot of features and it's large, huge framework, like I said before. Who is more popular? Why it even matters? It matters a lot if you're trying to find a job. If you know a technology which is a lot popular, you're gonna get higher chances of getting that job actually. And also if you're developing or just learning that technology, if you get stuck at one point, community is large and you're gonna get a lot of help and fast. So if you check NPM downloads, Stack Overflow questions and jobs, and also stars on GitHub, by far, React is popular at this point. So who is more powerful? When we say powerful, we mean who actually has more features and what you can build with this technology. And although React is really powerful UI library, Angular has a lot more features than React. Out of the box, you can get a lot of things like routing, animations, authentication, lazy loading, pipes, directives, etc. So there is a lot of things in, in Angular and actually you will need a lot of time to learn all of these things. Ease of upgrade. So when you finally finish your application with developing, you want to keep it updated. And these technologies are evolving. Every three or six months, they release new thing, new version. So with React, you need to keep an eye on third-party libraries and if your new version is not compatible with the previous one, maybe you're gonna break some of the libraries. On Angular, actually, you just need to keep an eye on your framework and in most cases, you just need the Angular CLI and you're good to go. So it's definitely much easier to upgrade with Angular than React. So you're a junior developer and you want to learn your first technology. There are a couple of things you need to consider. Which one is easier to learn and which one will give you a higher chance of getting your first job actually? Or second job or just in general, getting a job. So, like we discussed before, React is smaller, lightweight, and it has less features. So it's a lot, lot, lot easier to learn. And also it will give you a lot more chances to get a job. I highly suggest that first technology should be React, but also I advise you and highly suggest that you learn both of these eventually. So to conclude, which one is better? In my opinion, they are both great and you're not going to make mistake with learning one or another. To me, it's just a matter of mindset. And actually, do you want to have more freedom to interact with other frameworks and libraries? And you, for example, work in a startup with a smaller team, then React is better choice. And for example, if you work in a company with a large team with a lot of senior developers who know TypeScript and they're not afraid of big framework like Angular, I would definitely advise to use Angular in that case. And I'm super curious to find out what are your thoughts on this topic, so please leave a comment and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Also, you can follow me on other social medias like LinkedIn and Twitter, where I post daily different tips and tricks on JavaScript and front-end in general. Until the next time, stay tuned.